Gene here with a review on the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Robotic Foot Soldier. Yes, friends. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Uh, pretty much, it is a same, same old uh, standard packaging we've seen in the past of other Ninja Turtle to uh, figures, pretty much. It says Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles right here, and a nice CGI imagery here of the four turtles. And uh, right here, uh, it says Robotic Foot Soldiers, Shredder's Robotic Army. And of course, right here, it says Interchangeable Hand Weapons. On the back, it's got a nice bio on the robotic foot soldier, and clearly right here, it just shows you other advertisements, uh, other advertisements of other Ninja Turtle figures. Identical to the Shredder's own foot soldiers, this time has some work done by the Krang, making them uh, faster and stronger, and uh, gave them that a little bit of a cyborg look, pretty much. Um, Pretty much, uh, the whole thing with the figure, this is a new body work done, uh, pretty much, um, the, the the whole figure has uh, uh, new uh, a new mold pretty much uh, uh, compared to the very first wave of foot soldier pretty much the original is what I mean but anyway look at the eyes you can pretty much see uh, um, and, I, and I'll show you the difference but um, the original uh, foot soldier had the uh, foot clan symbol right there uh, doesn't have it there anymore but it still kind of looks like a, a, a bug pretty much the chest area, you can see it's got that uh, that android, uh, um, the, the pink and the silver, pretty much what you see with the crane, you know. And then uh, right here, they uh, tore half the, uh, the the clothes off, and it showed, uh, it's given us an, an impression that, you know, it is half a cyborg of a foot soldier, pretty much. Um, pretty cool looking, I'm not going to lie to you, but uh, anyway, let's look at the back here, as you can see now. This foot soldier has four arms instead of two, which is um, uh, completely different to what we've seen in the past, you know. And the, the robotic foot soldier kind of reminds me a little bit of the uh, the classic Baxter Stockman in the 1980s uh, cartoon. Uh, so, anyway. But, uh, anyway, uh, pretty much it's just, you know, um, new, uh, new mode uh, to the figure and everything, and, you know. But uh, anyway, let's get to articulation pretty much in the head, the waist here, all in the arms here in a swivel here, and uh, you can do a little rotation in the arms here if I could. No, you can't. You can do it in this one here, but my, mine's kind of stuck. Uh, pretty much you can do swivels with the, uh, the back ones right here. Really, really uh, neat here. And then a uh, swivel in the legs here. And, uh, for some odd reason, my figure is still kind of stuck. Maybe I kind of had to, got to break it up a little bit. But, uh, anyway, um, the articulation is very decent. And uh, I think the robotic foot soldier looks a little bit better than the, uh, the very first waves, uh, um, foot soldier. But I'll show it to you in a little bit, uh, during this review. So, uh, anyway. Now, the contents, he comes with, uh, He's loaded with a whole bunch of weapons. So here is his own uh, uh, saw. And uh, this one's kind of uh, flexible here. So you probably don't want to move it too much because you might get give it stress marks. But uh, I'll slip it onto the arm here of the uh, foot soldier here. And then he comes with his own little mace. And then his own drill. And his own hook. Uh, so pretty much it's, it's, it's just a soft plastic they give in these little weapons. So it's not the little tough weapons that the turtles have pretty much. But, you know, all around looks really, really cool. I really do prefer the robotic foot soldier. I mean, look how awesome he looks. I mean, I mean this is being equipped with Krang's own technology. I mean, awesome. And, uh, uh, we're just going to go ahead and take a look at the difference. They're pretty much the same height, both of them, as you can probably see. And you can see the difference, like I was telling you guys, about the uh, the white strap for the sheath, you know, on the original uh, Foot Soldier. Compared to this one, you can see they just added on, like, the cyborg look, pretty much. You know, just giving us that impression that it is an android of the crane, pretty much. Um... But like I said, I do prefer the uh, the robotic foot soldier. I think he is a little bit better looking compared to the first wave. And, you know, really, really cool. 
Now, of course, I'm not going to go ahead and show this. Um, um, in the last review, which was Tiger Claw, I showed you guys the little pamphlet that comes with uh, with the robotic foot soldier. Uh, please check out Tiger Claw's review on that uh, because I did talk a little bit about that. And plus, it's just a, it's just a checklist on you know keeping up on what you have and you know. Uh, which well, is really you're probably asking me, Eugene, why am I seeing uh, two robotic foot soldiers in front of me? Well, I can be completely honest with you guys and tell you there is a little bit of difference between the two, and uh, this was act this was actually a little shocking that I saw this. Okay, I bought these two from Walmart, but two different Walmarts, and so when I did, um, I saw a little bit of a difference. What is the difference? Well, this one here. I can tell you this is lacking paint clearly on the chest uh, area pretty much right here where the uh, cyborg part is this one is not so that's pretty much the difference and uh, I will warn you guys uh, this may happen to you um, uh, it, it may unless you notice something different about you know the, um, the, the difference between the two but just be warned about that I mean um, I went ahead and I purchased uh, two of them because I want I, um, I when I saw that I said I I'm, I better uh, bring this all to my viewers' attention. So that is the difference, you know. I mean, pretty much they're the they're both the same figure, the same figure. They come with the same accessories. It's just the lack of paint on the chest, pretty much, you know. Paint on one chest, paint no paint on the other. My final thoughts on the robotic foot soldier, absolutely amazing. Like I said earlier, I much, much, much prefer this guy than I do the very first Waves uh, um, foot soldier. Uh, really, really cool. I do dig the weapons that come with him. Uh, you know, the saw, the drill, the hook, and the mace. Really, really cool. And I do like those arms um, um, on, the on, on his back like that. Really, really cool, you know. Um, I'm glad that Playmates decided to release this figure because he is r really, really cool. And, you know, uh, giving us that, you know, upgrade to the foot bots, pretty much, is what I'm trying to say. All around cool. And, you know, um, also, um, like I said, I mean, if you do happen to get a robotic foot soldier that has lack of paint on the chest, that's still not going to hurt the figure. I mean, the figure's still good. The figure, I mean, the the, fi the figure has really no flaws, really. Uh, just if you do get, you know, the one that has the lack of paint on the chest. But all around nice. And uh, like I said, I do highly recommend the robotic foot soldier to anyone that, you know, just want to have something in their Ninja Turtle collection, you know. Or if you have a child that's a big time collector, you know. Um... But yeah, like I said, I do highly recommend them. Um, I wish y'all good luck on trying to find these. Uh, they're definitely in your Walmarts, Toys R Us, and Targets. Uh, mainly at Walmart, they're $8.88. So, uh, anyway, and also, friends, let me also uh, reminisce back to the Tiger Claw review. Um, and I owe you all an apology. I kept calling the weapons the arm cannons. They're called the hand cannons, and I, I'll put that in the annotation. So if you don't have the annotations on, shame on you. But uh, anyway, well, friends, that is it for this review. Please check out my blog, follow me on Twitter, and to like my Facebook. And friends, this is a review on the Nickelodeon Teeny Mutant Ninja Turtles Robotic Foot Soldier. I hope you enjoy. Well, I'm Eugene. I'm signing out, and I hope you have a good day. And my friends, I will most assuredly see you next time. Bye.